Hello, what, what I'd like to talk about is one of the uh, undeniable growth areas of retailing. It's, it's online, it's e-commerce, whatever you, you want to call it. It's um, quite, quite clearly transforming retailing. So I was really keen to uh, have a discussion, get your views as, uh, as independent retailers of different sectors, different sizes on the importance of online, how you think it works for, for your customers. Um, and I know you all have uh, very different approaches. Piers, obviously you're primarily uh, uh, an online, That's right, uh, yes. online um, retailer. So uh, uh, maybe I may sort of start with you. Um, when you were thinking about launching the business, um, mm -hmm. what made you think this is a, this is a pure play or online only retailer? Uh, well, it was always going to be an online business, um, as opposed to investing in bricks and mortar uh, uh, and taking on those overheads and, and tying yourself into contracts. Our business model was all about minimum investment um, from, from a startup perspective, um, and, and therefore the online side of things was the way it was going to be. Uh, my primary business partner, she has a career um, in online retail. Um, she's worked for some of the biggest names in the globe. And so sh she has the expertise and understanding of what it takes to, to, to make that happen. And so for us, um, there wasn't any consideration of going into the high street. It was always going to be an online business. We have invested in getting the right platform for ourselves, getting the right payment processing systems in place, um, getting the right business service yeah suppliers from that yeah. perspective yeah. Um, we also um, warehousing um, holding stock uh, getting the mailing deals going shipping deals um, all of that sort of thing so that yeah. that's where we have invested yeah. and obviously our time and effort with regards to um, setting up the social media platforms mm -hmm. uh, and creating a fully in interactive engaging platform yes. across yeah. all facets yeah yeah Sally, you're sort of also similar age of business, yes, but you yeah. launched with the store first, or uh, we did launched you put with the store first, and it was our intention within you know a couple of months to have a, a website, really to signpost to the store. Um, but I think when you, in my case, we were either going to invest quite a lot of time or money into the um, the setting up of the website, and we decided that we'd spend time on it which we had more time than money. Um, and we started by reading quite a lot of reviews about which templates we could use, who, who we right. could use. Um, and so it was a, an in-house project. And also because we were establishing our kind of house style, if you like, and our, our identity, um, doing all the photography ourselves and that kind of thing meant that we had ownership of how it looked. Um, but I think one thing that I didn't really realise at the time, and I think is, I do understand a bit more now, and it's still all, all new to us really, we're still learning, is that um, we think of websites as being, and you know, you'll understand this much more, we think of websites as, as being very attractive and, and how do they look and are they exciting and yeah. are they colourful and so on. But really, there are sort of particular zones where people are going to look and sometimes you've actually got to have less information on there because that's going to be much clearer. And, um, you know, we've kind of learnt by trying different formats. Yeah. I think I'll still um, need some tweaking, really. So in the petite women's wear sector, how, how relevant do you feel is I, online? Yeah, I, I mean, look, I think it's it's undeniably really relevant to to women's wear and to fashion. Um, however, I'm not yet online, partly because my strategy was always to invest in the store. Um, I think also partly I do um, a lot of products, quite quite classic clothing that I feel maybe doesn't translate that well online. For example, a great fitting black trouser, mm. whereas I know online the things that seem to sell uh, much better are much more emotional pieces that are much, you know, are really colourful. So it's definitely as an independent yeah. boutique, I do need to get there. Um, I just, it is a, it's a very big investment in terms mm. of resource, you know, time and, and finance. You're completely right about the investment uh, required, not, not necessarily money investment, but, yeah. but a time and effort. We, we tried half-heartedly in the beginning to run it out of the back of a shop, uh, and it was an absolute nightmare. We had trying to sell stuff that wasn't in stock. We yeah. weren't selling stuff that was in stock. If you think about all the sizes and yeah. colors and yeah. descriptions and pictures. 
So uh, we sort of started taking it more seriously probably about three years ago, and in that time it's gone from about 1% of our sales up to nearly 20% of our sales now. Yeah, understanding yeah. what you want from it, it, yeah. it it's, uh, it's a big thing. I, I can understand from your business, it's as much about engaging and communicating as it is selling uh, yeah. for a, a website. Uh, if you're having an event or there's new product lines coming out or these are the trends that are going to be there, uh, if you have a, an existing client base that are interested in that and they link into you via your website. But it, it's more, always it's more than just the website itself. Um, it's yeah. the content that's in there. Yeah. Um, that w engages people, not just about products, but also creating blogs or writing articles, yeah. that side of things. Mm. Uh, we have also obviously linked into all of our social media platforms um, and, and doing different promotions through there. It's understanding, as you're saying, about what your expectations are, yeah. but also then how to drive those expectations yeah. and, and to fulfill them as well. If you get it right, it, it, you know, it, it can be very big and, 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 and very successful. And people like to engage. Yeah. Um, and, and then I don't think we've really, really touched on the other possibilities of things like Google Shopping. Um, Facebook, you can have a, your Facebook shop page mm. on there where you can list all of your products. People can go into your Facebook. Um, and these are all uh, services open to independents, aren't they? Yes, not, very much not so. Not just large... Uh, no, no, no. I, mean, I, I think they're, they're better off for independents. Unfortunately, we have to leave. This is a massive topic, as we've seen. It's been a, a really fascinating discussion, and I sort of open saying, uh, you know, is, is this relevant for, for independence? And we've touched on how it could work, but I think uh, we've concluded. And uh, thanks for everyone for the contributions. And Pierce, that's, that, that, that summary there really did reiterate that that for a, a small business or a large business, that this this is yeah. this is the future. It's happening, and uh, uh, it's moving so fast that uh, you know independence can can really benefit from it in, in a really powerful so. way. So so thank you for your contributions. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks. thanks.